now we're going to go over the 45 45 90 triangle and in the book it go in my book here it goes over the rules so if this is 90 and that's 45 we know that's 45 since these two angles are equal then that's going to be 3 and then that's also going to be 3 and then we know if two sides are equal the third side is going to be that side radical 2 and now we could just do the reverse of that we know that if opposite the 90 is something radical 2 then opposite the 45s has to just be the 8 and the 8 because then when you go from the 45 side which is here to the side opposite the hypotenuse you multiply by radical 2 so going the other way you're going to divide by radical 2 this one's easy but it, that's going to be important in the next one so th this one if this is 10 Remember we said when we go from this side here, I'm going to call the 45 side, okay? And this is the 45 side, and that's the 90 side. Why? Because this is opposite the 45, this is opposite the 45, and that's opposite the 90. When we go from the 90 to the 45, you have to divide it by radical 2. So it's going to be 10 divided by radical 2. That's going to come out to be 5 radical 2. How do we know that that's right? Because if x and y are equal to 5 radical 2, if we wanted to get it back to this side here, we would do 5 radical 2 times radical 2. And the radical, that would be 5 times 2, which would equal 10. So that's how we know we did it right. So here, they give us the side opposite the 90, you could have done what we did before. Since you know x and y are equal, you could have just said x squared plus x squared because y is equal to x equals 16 and then solved it out. Or you could just say going this way, going backwards, you have to divide it by radical 2. So when you put this in on my calculator, you're going to get 8 radical 2. Okay, the way that I did that, 16 over radical 2, you multiply the top and the bottom by radical 2. Okay, to re and then that's 16 radical 2, and that becomes 2, and then that's 8 radical 2. I would recommend just getting the Casio FX115ES, and it would do this for you and change it into that. Okay, so when you go from the 90, when they give you the 90 and you're going backwards to the 45, you're dividing it by radical 2. In this example here, we went the other way, and we multiply by radical 2. Now exercise 5.5, we have to use the 30, 60, 90 triangle that's given to us above. So we know that opposite the 30 is always a number. Then opposite the 60 is that number times radical 3. And then opposite the 90 is twice the number that we had opposite the 30. So let's do a few examples. We have opposite the 30 is a 3. So then we know this here is 60, and opposite the 60 is this number times radical 3, because that's what's given on the SAT. And then opposite the 90 is twice that. So that's 2 times 3 is 6. Let's do this one here. Here they gave us the thing opposite the 60, and they told us that was 6 radical 3. So it must have been that opposite the 30 was just the 6. And then always opposite the 90 is twice whatever this one was. So that's going to be 12, which is 2 times 6. So here they gave, they, in this example here, they gave us, let's do another, wait, here's another one with the 30. So here they gave us opposite the 30 is 10. So we know opposite the 60 is 10 radical 3. And then opposite the 90 is twice the 10. So that would be 20. And I'm just following the picture that they gave us here. So in this example, in examples 1 and 3, they gave us the, the, uh, the side opposite the 30. And then we had to start by finding the side opposite the 60 and then the side opposite the 90. Here they gave us the side opposite the 60 was 6 radical 3, so then we had to find out that that was 6. Okay, Let's do it again here. They, now they're giving us the side opposite the 90. So that's going to be 60 because you know that if that's 90 and 30 that has to be 60 so we know the side opposite the 30 is always half of whatever is opposite the 90 so that's going to be 15 
and then we know the side opposite the 60 is always going to be whatever opposite the 30 was times radical 3, so that's 15 radical 3. We'll do the same thing here. We know that that has to be 30, and we know there that that's 22. So opposite the 90 is 22, so opposite the 30 is half of that, so that's 11. And then opposite the 60 is whatever that was times radical 3. Here they gave us opposite the 60 is 15 radical 3, so we know what must have been opposite the 30 was just a 15, and then opposite the 90 is always double of what was, at, what was opposite the 15, so that'll just be 30. So make sure to go over the rules for how to do this. I wrote a little bit about the rules in the beginning of this section, so review the rules, make sure that you know how to do this.